What is hijacking your metabolism? Why are you carrying around extra weight? Why can't you seem to get it off? Why are you so tired? What's happening? Well, let's put it this way. A lot of this boils down to stress. Stress is going to lower your resilience to all kinds of things. Your tolerance to foods, your resilience to infections. What happens? Stress irritates your gut lining and makes it leakier. So gut lining cells separate apart, molecules get across into the bloodstream, you start to have inflammatory reactions. Those inflammatory reactions send messages up to your brain that something isn't right. So your vagus nerve gets a little bit activated. But what happens when we've got that gut lining irritated? Different bugs that come in, whether we're breathing them in, whether we're eating them, whether we're drinking them, they get in and they can take up shop. That messes with your ability to break down foods, but it also messes with your ability to signal properly back up to your brain. What happens then? Well, you get some weird cravings and you might be going after certain things that you didn't go after before or you're finding them extremely tasty now. So usually they're foods that are not so great for you. So you start making some poor choices. Let's put it that way. Now what happens? The weight starts to go up. As the weight goes up, you get frustrated. Back to stress. Next thing, got those bugs coming in. That vagus nerve can get hijacked. Now, how can it get hijacked? Well, the more viruses that get into your system, the more that they can live in your nervous system. And the vagus nerve happens to be one of our most influential nerves because it is in charge of our flight or flight, fight or flight, but also our rest, digest, and chill nerve. It's got a lot of jobs. And the more viruses that are in the system, the more potential we have for them to hijack it. There is a research article out there in terms of the vagus nerve infection theory. And I highly recommend checking that out. It's Michael Elkiser. He has a great article on that. So does Jody Cohen, by the way, who is from Vibrant Blue Oils. Now here's an interesting component about that vagus nerve getting hijacked. We don't necessarily know it because we might be thinking life's great. I don't know what's really stressing me out, but there's some underlying things that are happening. We may be, not even noticing that we're having ups and downs with our heart rate. We may be noticing we're not recovering from our workouts. We're not recovering from life's daily stressors. And so we get more and more depleted over time, which goes back to we're lowering our resilience to infections, our resilience to or tolerance to certain things. Now what happens, we keep getting gut lining irritation over time. We're going to back up things into the liver. The liver can't handle too much coming back into it. So it ends up having issues with making hormones properly, making cortisol properly, cholesterol properly, not cortisol. So making cholesterol properly. So we end up with higher cholesterol because we are stressed. Now I'm seeing this over and over again and, and really has heightened since the recent events of this pandemic. So I'm starting to think there's something going on here in terms of infections and the resilience factor and the vagus nerve being hijacked. Now, how do I bring it all back full circle for you? When your vagus nerve is not functioning properly, you have some issues with energy, with gut motility, with heart rate. You might be noticing palpitations going on. You might not even notice anything else. Maybe you have anxiety. I would be going more towards the gut bugs in that department, but What's happening here is that vagus nerve is not helping you regulate what's going on inside your body. So it's really key to be thinking about for metabolism, what is your vagus nerve doing here? Is it keeping you in fight or flight mode? And do you possibly have a bug that's keeping this going? So how do you get rid of these bugs? Well, easier said than done. Viruses do like to hang around in your system for life. So one of the things that you can do is you can keep them in check by increasing your resilience. How do you do that? Working on telling your body at any given moment during the day that everything's okay. Giving it the okay signal. My top three things are working on breathing, five count inhales, seven count exhales, doing this every morning, every evening, when you think about your day, meaning the first thought you have in the day, that is what sets the tone for the day. 
If you are going to go down a negative route, you are going to get that vagus nerve going and you're going to lower your resilience. So the happier thoughts you have, the more you turn it around to a positive thought process, the more you are going to be resilient to infections and issues with your metabolism. Number two, what you eat matters. The cleaner you eat, the more resilience you will have to infections. Why? Because you're not eating things that irritate your gut lining. Your gut lining became damaged not because you ate too many beans, too many rice, grains, things of that nature that are being demonized. It's because you ate processed foods too much and you were stressed. Now, some people might argue that it wasn't the right type of beans or grains. Yes, sprouting them can make it so much better and so much easier to digest and you wanna go slow. Yes, the beans and the grains could have damaged your digestive system after you already had an irritated gut lining. I don't think they're what did it. I think it's the processed foods that did it. The stress plus processed foods. Next, gut bugs. They don't live well in an environment that is stressed. So this is why working on that vagus nerve and ways to chill it out are extremely useful. Finding joy in life, working on clove and lime oil behind your ear and tapping there, singing, breathing, stretching, relaxing, all things that are extremely useful. Exercise, but making sure you're recovering also helps with that vagus nerve. Big things here. Can we knock down viruses in our body with herbs? Yes, we absolutely can. Olive leaf, great one there. Astragalus, andrographis, garlic. Those are all great examples that are very simple that you could get your hands on. Silver, not an herb, but something that is extremely helpful for viruses as well. There are a lot of herbs. I'm thinking wormwood, plenty of things. I could go on for hours about the different herbs that help you with your resilience. But you're keeping in mind here that the most important thing is working on the stress management side of things, taking breaks during the day, making sure you have a wind down routine to shut off work and life. Make sure you know when work is done, you're moving into life and you're winding down for the evening. You're stretching, you're relaxing, you're chilling. Each morning you're working on your thought process. The first thought you have of the day sets the tone for the day. It does lower your resilience when you are telling your body like life is crappy, I'm stressed out, I don't feel good. Of course you're telling your vagus nerve you're not safe. These are things to be thinking about to get that vagus nerve back on point. But metabolism, what is up here? We are needing to work on that vagus nerve over time to get the metabolism restored. Eating clean, absolutely always helpful. Working on balancing your foods in your gut, meaning looking at the right balance of protein, fat, and carbs for you. You have to play with it a little bit. We each have a food formula. Looking at processed stuff, even things like artificial sugars and sweeteners all the way down to the processed stevia, these can really irritate your gut and allow the bugs to come in and get imbalanced on your gut lining. The more imbalanced the bugs are on your gut lining, the more you're gonna have trouble with the vagus nerve because signaling is going to be off. So what's the moral of the story? Eat closest to nature, get more fiber in. Six cups of veggies a day helps keep the doctor away. Apples, apple pectin helps with keeping that gut lining healthy. So start looking at what you're eating. Start looking at how you're managing st stress throughout the day. Get rid of your energy vampires and do some things to help your vagus nerve chill, like tapping behind the ear, five count inhale, seven count exhales. All these things are great solid foundations to help you to get your metabolism back on point. I'm Janine Krause. Thanks for watching this video. And if you like this one, subscribe to my channel and head over to the Health Fix Podcast for more great information just like this.